Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be introducing rings and fields. Building on your understanding of groups, we will now explore rings and fields. A ring is an algebraic structure consisting of a set equipped with two binary operations that generalize the arithmetic operations of addition and multiplication. A field is a ring whose non-zero elements form a commutative group under multiplication. Familiar examples of fields include the real numbers, the complex numbers, and the rational numbers. In this section, we will investigate the properties that define rings and fields. We will determine whether a given algebraic structure is a ring or a field based on the definitions of these structures. Consider a set R equals 0, 1, 2, 3. The operations plus and times, defined as A plus B equals A plus B mod 4, and A times B equals A times B mod 4. Verify whether R plus is a ring. Recall that a ring needs to satisfy several properties. Nice, so they give us these properties. That's pretty nice. Number two, if R plus times is a ring, is it also a field? Recall that a field is a ring in which every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse. Let's start with an addition table. Adding zero is pretty easy. Adding one is pretty easy. One plus three is zero mod four. Two plus two is zero. Two plus three is one. And three plus three is six, which is just two mod four. Multiplying by zero is pretty easy since zero times anything is zero mod four. Multiplying by one is also pretty easy since one is the multiplicative identity. Two times two is four, which is zero. Two times three is six, which is two. And three times three is nine, which is one. For part A, R plus is an abelian group. So is it commutative? Well, to ask if plus is commutative is to ask whether or not this diagram is symmetric about this diagonal. And the answer is yes, it is. The next question is associativity. When it comes to proving associativity, we usually get to skip this part since it's usually extremely gruesome to show by hand. As for the identity element, it's definitely zero since adding zero doesn't change the number and every element has an inverse. The inverse of zero is zero, the inverse of one is three, the inverse of two is two, and the inverse of three is one. So for part A, I'll just put yes by observation of the addition chart. For part B, it says star is associative. Here I'll put yes, but I don't wanna show it since it's gonna take me forever. There's lots of different combinations for A, B, and C using the associative property. And part C, star distributes over plus. A times B plus C equals AB plus AC. This is also going to be really difficult to check. However, I am familiar that when it comes to mod 4, I do believe the distributive property works. So I'm going to put yes, but I don't want to show it. Number 2 says if R plus star is a ring, is it also a field? Recall that a field is a ring in which every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse. Well, the answer is no because of two. Two has no multiplicative inverse. There is no number I can multiply two by to get the multiplicative identity, which is supposed to be one. So we'll say no since two does not have a multiplicative inverse. Let's see how ChatGPT responds. Fantastic, you have demonstrated a thorough understanding of the properties that define rings and fields. Also, your responses are spot on. Nice. I notice in part C it says the operation star indeed distributes over plus. While you didn't explicitly show this, I trust that you have verified this. I haven't, but it's a gruesome verification process that I just don't want to go through. Number two, you're correct. Although R plus star is a ring, it isn't a field. This is because, as you pointed out, the element two in R does not have a multiplicative inverse. There's no element in R that you can multiply by two to get one, the multiplicative identity. So for our progress, you've progressed into understanding more advanced algebraic structures, rings and fields. Your understanding of the defined properties of rings and fields is apparent from your correct responses. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.